Good morning, everybody. We are starting our day here with a smile, and we hope that you guys are too. I want to start this video off by saying thank you guys. Thank you to anybody that's watching right now. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for sticking with us. Thank you guys for whoever's subscribing. I think we're at like 125, 126 subscribers now. So thank you guys. We really appreciate it. Uh, it gets us excited when you know our subscriber count goes up like that. So we are coming to you guys here from California. That's right, California. We're back home. But even though our adventure came to an end, that doesn't mean that it's over. We're gonna uh, keep going other places. Now that we're back in California, we have some inside information about what we thought was the best snorkeling in Maui, as well as some that I don't think are necessarily worth it. That being said, everybody's experience is different. Mm -hmm. So just because we didn't like somewhere or didn't see fish doesn't mean that you guys won't go and love it and see a huge variety. And just because we went somewhere and saw a ton of fish and turtles, if you go to the same place, you might not get the same result. But we're sure we are still going to go ahead and share that information with you. And uh, that way it'll help you guys plan your trip a little bit better. Hopefully you can uh, take some of that and make some good snorkeling trips out of it, huh? Yeah. We're gonna start off by talking about Napili Bay Beach. So Napili Bay Beach, do not get it confused with Napili Bay Bay. The Napili Bay Beach is the one that's sandy. It's directly next to the gazebo. Um, you can sort of just lay out and, and relax. It's sort of like, an, like what you would picture in your mind when you think of a beach. So Napili Point Beach, um, some of the disadvantages of going there is that because it's so sandy, the water was actually very cloudy and it was also crowded because a lot of people were over there just laying out in the sand and, you know, kids and all families all just hanging out in the water and in the waves. So it's pretty crowded. Also, there's nowhere to get snorkel gear. So if you're going to that beach to go snorkel, you're going to have to bring your own gear, maybe rent it somewhere else, but there's nowhere on site to rent it. But what's nice about it is it's perfect walking distance from our condo, the Napili Point Resort, and as well as other condos and uh, maybe hotels that are in that area. So overall, we didn't really see that many fish there. Maybe just on, honestly, no more than like a handful. Um, I think that's because it was so cloudy and because there were so many waves, you know? And if you're really trying to go out far enough to see fish at that point, it's not necessarily safe. So that was probably our least favorite spot that we snorkeled at. It was kind of, I mean, it was just, uh, it's also our experience. It could be di completely different if you guys decide to go, but it was a little bit cloudy at that area. Yeah, the water was very cloudy. Um, so next we're gonna talk about Black Rock Beach in Kanapali. And this one is, interesting for us to talk about because we also visited that beach and snorkel there on our honeymoon and our it was gorgeous it was beautiful yeah our experience this last trip versus um a couple of years ago year and a half ago on our honeymoon it was very different it was it, this time going it was very similar to like the Nepali bay it was kind of very cloudy very, um you couldn't really see cloudy. through the water uh, last time when we went like on our honeymoon there was a lot of fish mm -hmm. and you could see like completely like straight through the water mm -hmm. so it's just kind of hit or miss you know it's worth going and checking out uh snorkel spots because you know a snorkel spot that's a good one time might not be good the next time and a snorkel spot that's bad one time might be good the next time that you guys go to it and what's fun about black rock beach is um both times there were turtles so on our honeymoon we were able to see the turtles this time we didn't see them we just heard other people who saw them but as they came up and and were visible it was the water was so murky that you had to be right next to them to see them so um that's sort of a downfall of this trip but if you do want to go check it out anyways there are turtles pretty often also black rock beach is known for the cliff um cliff jumping so if that's something that you're into looks super fun we didn't do it but you can definitely do that there it is a very 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 crowded beach more crowded than a beauty point it's probably the most crowded beach that we went to on maui 
and not just on the beach but also in the water it is such a popular snorkeling spot that there's people everywhere um however because it is connected to the resorts it's right there off of the sheraton at maui you are able to rent snorkel gear uh chairs and umbrellas pretty much anything that you would want while you're swimming so that is an advantage you don't have to already own those things but it can get pricey so i would still consider going out and finding somewhere else to rent it from or purchase it um, it's also nice because it is a walking distance if you're staying at any of those hotels on Kanapali beach uh, except for the royal lahaina because it's on the other side of the, the like where they rock. go diving yeah but the beach off of the royal lahaina we snorkeled there on our honeymoon and there's really no fish but there's also not a lot of people it's very calm the waters are still really nice and we did see a few fish um but we did also see a couple of really large turtles on our honeymoon at that beach it was really really fun even though there wasn't a lot to see what we did see we really enjoyed so the next snorkeling spot isn't really one that you can kind of like swim to or walk to. It's uh, Molokini, Molokini Crater. So that one, you do have to pay for a boat ride and excursion there, which to me, I, I personally, I think is worth it. Um, the boat ride was nice. I, I enjoy boat rides. I'm pretty, usually pretty good with it. And so if you're not like a big boat ride person, maybe this wouldn't be the snorkeling spot for you. Um, it was a nice, cool boat ride, a lot of fun. And then once you get there, they like anchor you like almost inside the crater, like the boat, they anchor the boat inside the crater and you go off the right, right of the side of the boat and you, you're snorkeling inside of the crater and the water was like crystal clear, like completely undisturbed. You could see all the way to the bottom. It was really, really deep and they had a lot of fish. You know, once you get like kind of closer to the walls of Molokini, uh, a lot of like reefs and fish, you know, swimming around, we saw some parrot fish. We saw a lot of really really beautiful fish there it's probably the most variety of fish that we saw anywhere on the island in terms of larger colorful fish they were really pretty we didn't see any turtles there's no turtles there maybe sometimes but i don't think it's really like a big popular snorkel snorkeling spot for turtles mm -hmm. um yeah but if you're like me and you get seasick then probably it's not for you or make sure to take your drama mean um, also, if you are going to plan a trip to snorkel to Molokini, make sure you look into the price differences to go in the morning versus the afternoon. Okay. If seasickness isn't a problem for you, book it in the afternoon. It's a little less expensive and it's a little less expensive because the waters are more rough. We went in the afternoon. I took a couple of drama means and I was mostly fine. So, um, but if that's something you want to avoid, then up for the morning it's more it's a little bit more pricey but um the waters are a lot more calm on average but just know that if you are booking any excursion on maui or really anywhere that you go you are on a scheduled time so that can either be a great thing or a bad thing so as much as scheduled times are nice because you can sort of if you have plan, other if you have other stuff planned for like after snorkeling Make sure you give yourself adequate amount of time to get to your next activity. So sometimes just because um, an excursion is scheduled, that doesn't mean it's going to run on schedule. So we ended up missing out on um, our dinner cruise because the snorkeling went 40 minutes over. So just something to keep in mind. Yeah, plan it's accordingly. Which is great to go on excursions that are scheduled, but just know things happen and sometimes they don't run on schedule. Yeah. So the next spot that we're going to be talking about is Honolulu Bay, which is personally one of my favorite spots. And we're going to be linking it up here right now um, for our other video. Uh, so Honolulu Bay is kind of like you drive down... Um, what is that? I remember... I don't remember what the highway is called, but it's actually really pretty. It's yeah, past so, the Pili Point, past yeah. the Haina, over on the northwest side of the island. So basically you pull over like on the side of the road and then you walk down like this dirt area and you're going through like this, this like almost magical forest of trees and it's just green all around you. 
and that leads to uh, this um, rock beach. Like it's big round rocks over it, but but it's all shaded, which is also nice um, because it's really hard to find like shaded areas, shaded beaches to go hang out at. Um, so it's not really sand; it's just all rocks. But if you bring like beach chairs and stuff, then you're like set, like you're good to go. Which we luckily had beach chairs with us. Um, but the snorkeling there was phenomenal. Crystal clear water, tons of fish. And you know that it's a good area because when we were there, there was boats there that brought tours of people there. Um, so people were actually paying to go in this snorkeling spot that we had Happened just driven to. Yeah. yeah. Um, and a, a bad part about it though is that it's very, very uh, close to Slaughterhouse. Um, Slaughterhouse Beach. So you kind of don't want to get them mixed up because... Um, Honolulu Bay is a really nice, you know, snorkeling area, very calm water. Slaughterhouse is the exact opposite of that. It's an actual beach that you can go to. It's got and huge, huge the waves, waves are insane. A lot of people go boogie boarding there. So if you're a big boogie boarder and, and that's the, kind of your thing, uh, go ahead and do that there, Slaughterhouse. Um, but don't go too far out because you can get pulled out fairly quickly and fairly easily without even noticing that you're getting pulled out. Yeah, but there was a huge variety of fish at Honolulu Bay. They were beautiful. There's so many. It was great, crystal clear water. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed going to Honolulu Bay. Yeah. yeah. But our very favorite snorkeling spot, at least my very favorite snorkeling spot from this trip that we didn't see on our honeymoon. Yeah, with our own experiences, our, our favorite. Oh, yeah. Our but favorite snorkeling spot by far. There's still so many that we didn't go to, so definitely look for more options. But Napili Bay Bay. So earlier we talked about Napili Bay Beach, um, but now if you're talking about if you're looking at if you're standing on the beach and you're looking out at the ocean and you look to your left, if you follow that, there's like a path that you can follow all the way around um, to Napili Bay Bay. And that was a great, great, great snorkeling spot. It is directly, it is located directly at the condos, um, the Pili Point Resort condo yeah. rentals. It's right there. Uh, it's just you can you can basically spot. you could basically walk straight from the condo down to this area. There is no direct access into this bay area. Um, there's no like beach or anything. It's it's a rock beach, very similar to uh, Honolulu Bay. Honolulu Bay, but you if you climb down the rocks and kind of like ease yourself safely into the water, there's so many fish, so many turtles. Like we went on a on a on our honeymoon, we went on a turtle tour um, in to Oahu. Uh, yeah, in Oahu to go see a turtle cleaning station. And just this area, you know, that we just walked right into had so many more turtles than this turtle cleaning station. It was beautiful. There's tons of fish. We saw eels. I saw an octopus. Uh, just a bunch of turtles just relaxing, you know, in and out of the water. We probably saw, I don't know, 15 turtles there. And I'm sure there were more. If you look down, there's turtles everywhere just sleeping under the coral, like under rocks. There's so many turtles there. They come up for air. They just kind of, I think that they're kind of used to people. Still don't go out and try to pursue a turtle. Um, it's against the law in Hawaii, and it's just better for the turtle himself if nobody goes up to it. But they come pretty close to you naturally. Um, there was a lot of turtles. They're so beautiful. So many fish, like Matt said. And if you swim... Um, over to the point of the bay that's sort of where it ends like the end of the peninsula I don't know really how to explain it but there's another like 30 to 50 turtles sleeping up there on the, on the rocks yeah and they blend in with the rocks like from far away it looks like it's just a lot of rocks but there's a lot of turtles there so that was probably like our favorite uh, snorkeling spot while we were there this time but hopefully we can go there in future videos and check out more snorkeling spots and give you guys some more information. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys and uh, that you guys enjoyed watching it. If you guys have any like suggestions or if you guys want to see anything or have any questions, um, go ahead and ask in the comments. We, we reply to everyone's comments.
Also, be sure to tune in for our next video. It's going to be all about how to get your sunrise at Haleakala. So make sure you guys tune in. That's something that's kind of hard to get your hands on, so don't miss it. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, please leave a like. It really helps us out, and it shows us that you guys are, like, watching the video all the way through, you know, to the end. Um, Go ahead and follow us on Instagram. Make sure you guys remember yeah. to do that. It's uh, going to be right here, but it's also linked in the description box below. Uh, we post a little bit of our adventures on there, and you'll probably get more updates about where we're going next there first. Yeah, cool. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day or night, whatever it is for you guys. See you guys in the next video. Good morning. It is a beautiful day here on the island of the United States. Just kidding. <laughs>